Today's Morning Minute, Fear of Failure. Are you afraid you might fail? Do you think Caleb and Joshua were afraid of entering the promised land? Do you think Moses was afraid when the Egyptian army was bearing down on him, backing him up to the Red Sea? Do you think jo Joseph was afraid in the pit? Do you think Joseph was afraid in prison? Are you afraid of what others might say about your faith? Are you more concerned about what people say and think about you than what God thinks? Are you afraid of people or God? Do you think the Israelites felt foolish marching around Jericho? Do you think Nehemiah felt foolish rebuilding the wall around Jerusalem? Do you think David was afraid to attack Goliath? Do you think Peter was concerned and afraid when they got out of the boat to walk on the water? God did not give you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. If you're walking in fear, you cannot please God. The enemy of God has you under his control. Perfect love casts out fear. Love and trust in God are your confidence to defeat fear. Seek God and his kingdom, and your fear will be replaced with the power of God. You're wise when you put your faith into action. The wise person is the person who hears the word of God and puts it into practice like a person who builds his house on the rock. The rock is the word of God. Put it into practice. Faith overcomes fear. Love overcomes doubt. Jesus Christ overcame sin and death for the forgiveness of sin. The power of God living in you through the Holy Spirit overcomes all fear. Christ in you is the hope of glory. Your best days are ahead of you in your marriage, family, health, business, and country. Your hope is in Christ, not your circumstance. Put your hope in the salvation of the Lord and, the re and rest in his everlasting arms. God loves you and has forgiven you of your sin of fear and doubt. He knows you better than you know yourself. He is, he loves you and has created you in his image and likeness of love. Do you trust your fear or God? Cross over into the promised land and conquer the territory of no fear, no judgment, no condemnation by trusting the complete finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross today. God rewards those who earnestly seek him. Seek him with all your heart and you will find him. God loves you. Amen and amen.